Hi guys, a customer recently came to me frustrated with Microsoft Edge constantly popping up on their system. They wanted it gone but didn't realise the risks. In this video I'll show you how to safely hide or completely remove Edge plus tips to avoid breaking anything important. I've added timestamps below so if you want to skip straight to the solution. Also stick around to the end to learn how to test if you broke anything during the process and what workarounds to use if something goes wrong. As a computer engineer, this is not the first time I get this question. How do I get rid of Microsoft Edge? Whether you switch to Chrome, Firefox or another browser, I get it. Why keep Edge? But here's the catch. Edge is tightly woven into Windows 11 and uninstalling it isn't like removing other apps. It's also handy as a backup browser in case your main one fails. Stick around and I'll guide you through the hiding Edge or safety removing it entirely. The problem is Edge is everywhere in Windows 11, on your taskbar, start menu and often as default for files and links. Here's why this is tricky, it's heavily integrated into the search box at the top here. Even if you set another default browser, if your replacement browser gets infected, you can't get online to get help and you have no alternative browser to fall back on. That's why I suggest hiding Edge for most users. If you're set on uninstalling it, I'll show you to do that safely too. Ok, let's dive in. For most users, hiding edge is the safest and easiest option, here's how to do it. First thing you need to do is unpin it. I'll show you how to unpin. Just go to edge, right click your mouse, left click on unpin from taskbar. It'll disappear down here once we close edge, and once we close edge behind, if you've got it open, it'll disappear off the taskbar. Next thing is to get rid of it off the start menu. So right click edge on the start menu. Again, left click on unpin from start. And there you go. Edge is hidden. Next thing is to disable it from the uh, search permissions and turn that off. So click on start. Type settings, left click. Privacy and security down here on the left hand side. Look for search permissions over here. Once you're on this page, look for searching windows. Yours might be on enhanced down here. Change it back to classic. This method keeps your system clean while leaving Edge as a backup. Let's move on to the second solution, uninstalling Edge. If you're determined to remove Edge, here's the safest way to do it. Just minimize this or you can close it. Before we start, make sure you've got another browser installed such as Chrome, Firefox or another browser first before you attempt this. So click on start. Type in CMD for command prompt. Make sure you run it as administrator. If you get the UAC pop up, just say yes. It should take you to this window. I'll leave some code down in the description for you. Just copy and paste. And this should uninstall Edge. All you gotta do is right click in the box. And as soon as you do that, Edge is uninstalled. Once done, let's do a system test. See if everything's working. Okay, close the command prompt box. Let's go to File Explorer. I'm going to pick a file on my system. Let's go to downloads. I have a test one here. So let's double tick the test PDF. And mine opens OK. If you have problems with yours, all you got to do is any file that's not working, just right click it. Go to show more options. Go to properties. And click on change. If it's set to this one, Edge, just change it to Chrome and then set as default. Click Apply and OK. This should fix any files that are no longer working or anything that may have got damaged while you uninstalled Edge. So things to check for, are all the links open in your default browser? Is Windows Search working as expected? If you uninstall Edge, are all things working properly? Just have a check around your system for different files, such as PDF files. Word documents, videos. If everything's working okay, fantastic. 
So to recap, we covered hiding Edge for a cleaner setup while keeping it as a backup, uninstalling Edge safely with a minimum risk to your system. Hiding Edge is the safer, simpler option for most users, but if you're uninstalled, be prepared for potential hiccups. If this video helped you, hit the like and subscribe for more tech tips. If you have any questions of your own or an Edge story you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Catch you in the next one.